dare to play. I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. For centuries, a fearsome monster has been stalking Castle Finster. Legend has it that once it is on the prowl, it won't return to the woods until it finds a new victim. A wealthy German investor, Marcus Baum, has called me to Castle Finster to help him scare out the truth in this bizarre and terrifying case. Nancy Drew, please let me in. This is Lucas. Please let me out. What? What? That's what you sound like when you say that. What? Can I talk to someone else about coming in? No. But if you can find the match, maybe I'll let you in. All right. I got it. Okay. I solved it. Nice job. Now for part two of your test. Lucas! You passed good job. Gotta go. Nancy, sorry about Lucas. I'll have a little talk with him later. Come meet me in my study on the second floor. Go away now. Hi, Ned. Sorry, the reception is a little bad here. So when are you getting in? I've got the perfect romantic getaway planned for the two of us. Took a lot of work to put together, but it's gonna be worth it. Well, there's been a hang-up. Sorry. Of course there has. Does this mean I have to cancel our plans again? Yes, but I promise I'll hurry home as soon as possible. I've heard that one before. I'm sorry I can't be more available, but I'm in the middle of something pretty important here. So what? I'll just hang out at home being bored? Nancy Drew, international sleuth, gets to go out adventuring, while Ned stays at home. Again. I'm sorry you're not having a better time. If you're not having fun, then go out and have fun. You know what? Forget that I even said anything. 
I can see that I'm not that important to you. So forget it. Fine. Fine. That was not great. This must be the room that Carl set up for me. This might come in handy. Hello, you've called Ned's telephone. Please leave a telephone message. You must be Nancy, yes? That's right. I'm here to help you take care of the monster sightings. Shh, shh. There is certainly no monster, Fräulein, and there have been no monster sightings. Everything is fine. There is no need for alarm. We have a huge monster problem here, literally and also figuratively. The monster is huge, and it is also huge problem. I need your help. Why are you doing that? Doing what? Talking so loudly. Who is listening in? I am the Burgermeister, Nancy. If I appear to be scared, how will everyone feel? The last thing I need is the castle newspaper picking up on how bad things are. The castle has its own newspaper? Of course. Doesn't yours? I don't really live in a castle. How do you protect yourself from peasant uprisings? It's never really been an issue. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? What? You want details? It's a monster. It is monstrous. Get rid of it, please. And thank you. I like your later, Hosen. Yes, yes. Get it out of your system now, Fräulein. What do you mean? No one likes lederhosen. Look at these! All of these straps and hooks and what have you. It's like I can't be trusted to keep my shirt on. Do you know how long it takes me to put these on in the morning? Nine minutes! And it's not like they look good. I look like a sad old Pinocchio. Then why do you wear them? It's part of Marcus's Bavarianization of the castle. He wants to give tourists a more authentic experience when they come here. It sounds like you're not a fan of that idea. I grew up here. I know authentic. If he wanted authentic, he should have come to me instead of stuffing the castle full of idiotic tourists. Uh, no offense to you and your fanny pack wearing loud talking country people. It sounds like you don't like tourists. Can you catch me up on what's been happening with these monster sightings? The castle is emptying out. I've never seen people be this nervous. You've got to get to the bottom of this quickly. Who's Lucas? Lucas is the castle's other monster. What do you mean? He's the head of security's son, so he's always wandering around, meddling, talking, endlessly talking, chattering away about some inane thing. It never ends with that one. How could someone who knows so little talk so much? The talking is more annoying than all of the pranks. What has happened with the monster so far? I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering herbs after a rainstorm. 
She drops her basket, and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away. Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? You can try, but good luck with that. She's bolted her door, and she hasn't come out since that night. Come to think of it, you should leave her alone. I just want to ask her a few questions. I know exactly what you want to do, and I'm telling you that you need to leave her alone. Earlier, you hid some things when I came in. Were they dolls? Fraulein, these are not dolls. Okay, what are those items? These are injection-molded, professionally crafted, physical, tactical, multi-directional, place-holding avatars. Oh, right. Therefore, a fully immersive strategic map-inclusive campaign tabletop set I've built. Okay, I know those words, but that is the extent of what I took away from that sentence. You Americans would call it a game. Oh, yes, we would call it that. But that is because in the rest of the world, games are not taken seriously. Here, we take games very seriously. Very seriously! That is why German board games are the best in the world! They are? Yes, they are. Just so you know, many of the most popular games throughout the world actually were created in Germany. And now I'm working on creating a new game. When it is done, it's going to turn the strategy world on its ear. Which, now that I think about it, as an expression, does not make a great deal of sense. Why is that? Because why would it be on its ear? This is preposterous. No, the other thing. Why is this game so important? You'll have to see. Tell me your play. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty great so far. At least that is what I think. But you should be sure to tell me what you think. Don't be shy. I can always use constructive criticism. Sure, I'd love to. Great! It's called Raid. The game is very simple. It's just about using the best strategy and, of course, finding the coolest looking character. Ready? I'll play blue if you play the other two colors. Oh, excellent!
All right, I win!
Ben. Nice round! What did you think? I loved it! Ha! <laughs> I knew it! I said to myself, Carl, this is the one! This is a game that's going to put you on the map! Here, take this for your trouble! Thanks! I'll let you go. Bye! Auf Wiedersehen! What an interesting painting. I've seen that image before in one of the paintings here. that mess. I want you to put everything exactly the way it was. Sorry, I will. It looks like I'll need to get the trays to their original levels. Got it! Wait, what's that? I wonder what these orders he's talking about are. This looks just like the picture in the raid guide. There must be something special about this painting. What a strange place to keep a key. Nancy, glad you're here. Big news! The International Board Card and Dice Commission has announced that they will be accepting new games for review. That means I can send Raid in! That's great news. Only... What? I am... I have very bad luck is a simple way of explaining it. Always have. But this doesn't seem bad. Not yet, but you'll see. Nothing good ever just happens, not in my life at least. I'm sorry you don't want to hear any more of my old man problems. I actually need your help. With what? Since you're the best raid player I've met, will you help me create a new character? I know this probably won't work out, but 
I want it to be perfect. Sure. Oh, excellent. Yes, I just knew you'd help. Maybe with your help, this wouldn't be such a disaster. I'd like you to help me come up with a new character. It is going to be based on the bare-skinned creature from the old tales. Should it be male or female? Male. Thanks. I'll let you go. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen! What did you do to Ned? Hi, Frank. I'm serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty because you have broken it. Oh no, is he really upset? I've never seen him this upset before. Joe's working overtime to cheer him up. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. Thanks, see you later. Bye, Nancy. It looks like I need to match the glass pattern, but I don't have all of the pieces. Nancy Drew, is it? I understand you and I have much in common. I'm not so sure. I don't believe we've met officially. Meet officially? What? With papers and a stamp? What is this? Meet officially? <laughs> Silliness. I am Renate. Officially. And you are Nancy. Officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, maybe? No, that's all right. What did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You are here for the monster, yes? Yes. This, this is not a wise thing to do, especially not for you. What do you mean? Let me tell you what I know. You're here for the monster. Now I tell you something you don't know. This monster? He's here for you. What makes you so sure of that? <laughs> I'm a storyteller, Nancy. I deal in fate and tragedy. And when a young girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. I should know. Leave while you still can, Nancy. I'm not going to do that. I didn't think that you would. You are part of this story now. How well do you know Carl? Him? I know him as well as anyone can, I guess. What do you mean? The way he locks himself up in the castle, he never leaves. He's hiding from the world. Why do you think he's doing that? I don't know. Me either. What are the chances that the reason is a happy one? Probably not great. Right. Have you heard much about this monster? Let me tell you a story a friend told me. She stayed here with her family a long time ago when she was a young girl. Back then the woods outside the castle walls were a very dangerous place. Especially for a little girl. That's why her father told her she was never going to the woods alone. This little girl? She had a small red scarf that came all the way from India. It had a parade of gold-stitched elephants all walking in a line. She was very proud of it and how far it had traveled just to belong to her. One day when she was playing in the field, a gust of wind carried the scarf deep into the woods. When the girl's older sister saw her walk into the forest, she tried to stop her, but it was too late. She couldn't catch up. Two girls went out into the woods. One came back. What happened? There were monsters in the woods that night. What kind of monsters? Does it matter what kind? That girl never came home, never saw her family, her friends ever again. Who cares what name? What kind of monster it was? That means nothing. The story about the girls. Who is this friend who told it to you? 
You wouldn't know her. I'm just curious. Is she your age? Is she from here? Why won't it matter to you? Leave it alone. What did you mean when you said I was part of the story now? <laughs> You'll figure it out. I think you're just trying to scare me. And if I am, is that such a bad thing? You have good reason to be afraid. Afraid of what? <laughs> if you don't know by now, look around. Think. It is a dangerous time to not know who you are and who other people think you might be. Where are your favorite places to visit? The places with the best food. The people in the north are dull as mud through dirty spectacles, but they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. Oh, and in the black forest they make cakes, these chocolate cakes with cherries and cream. Oh, what I would give for one right now. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a nap near a fire. That does sound nice. It is. Sweet food is my one true weakness in this world. It isn't great for the old teeth. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. Why are you here? I'm a traveler, much like you. I see the world. I tell stories. But why are you here now? I do not know yet. If our time together is a comedy, then I was brought here by coincidence. If our time is a tragedy, then it must be fate. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, sorry. No, no. I am the one to apologize. Carl, the Burgermeister, is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, like the language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya, the Castellan. I'm in charge of guest services. I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... what's it? A strong heart. What do you mean? What? You don't know? Then it's nothing. It must be something or you wouldn't have said anything. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. Why is everyone a little spooked right now? Oh, it's... Well, I suppose you'll find out about it anyway. I might as well be the one to fill you in. Mind you, don't get upset. Are you the easily frightened type? No. Good. You tell me if you were. There's nothing wrong with being scared. I'm not. Promise. Okay, good. But you do not need to worry about this, I see. How do you say this? There is a monster situation potentially taking shape. A monster situation? Well, that's the buzz around the castle. You need background. V, this castle, has a history. Legend around here says that a monster lives in these woods. Once in a great while, he returns, seeking a victim. People think that time is now. What makes everyone think the monster is coming here now? As long as I've been here, people always pointed out signs of his return. Cows would go missing, flocks of sheep would disappear, claw marks would appear on the trees. Everyone would say, oh, The monster will be here soon! But when he doesn't come, everyone calms down and forgets about the legend until strange things start happening again. Are strange things happening now? Yeah, but uh, different this time. How so? The signs are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's spooky. I heard once that before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just know. That is what it is like this time. We all just know. What do you think of Renata? I love her stories. 
Sometimes when she comes, the two of us stay up until the sun comes up, just chattering away about this and that. You ask me, her reputation is completely undeserved. What reputation? It's... it's difficult to explain exactly. She's... a lot of people say that wherever she goes, bad fortune follows. Do you think that? Not really. But she does always have peculiar timing. Come to think of it, whenever the castle gets to talking about the monster, she's not far behind. Really? Do you think she has something to do with the monster sightings? I'd be surprised. But then again, no, never mind. It's nothing. What? Okay, I shouldn't be telling you this. One time when she was here, and again everyone was all worked up about the monster, and she told the stories that scared everyone who listened half to death. So later that night, when everyone was locked in their houses with the windows shut tight, I caught her snooping around the castle. What was she doing? That's just the thing. I couldn't figure it out. She didn't come back for a long time after that. Actually... That was the last we heard of the monster for a while, too. What can you tell me about the monster? I don't know, Nancy. A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. Why not? Not sure. Maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they did and they don't want to remember. But everyone will tell you about the strange things that have been going on. Like what? Look, I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you things like this. Can you promise me that you won't tell anyone that I am telling you this stuff? I promise. Okay. For the last little while, there have been these weird howls from the woods. The sound, it's no animal I've ever heard of. And it is definitely not human. It sounds, I don't know frustrated at night you can hear the thing it's circling the castle getting closer each time it's terrible what's a castellan i'm in charge of the overall guest experience here carl who you may have met earlier is the burgermeister sort of like the mayor or i mean that's what he would really be if he actually did any work i'm sorry that wasn't really appropriate long day so, how did you get such a cool job? I get asked that all the time. It's really fun here and pretty competitive. I got my job by working my way up and managing smaller households and attractions in the area. Then one day there was an opening. I turned in my resume and crossed my fingers. You've got some great stuff in here. Is any of it for sale? Of course. This shop is very popular with tourists. Most everything is for sale. You'll find the prices listed. What do you think of Carl? I think that Carl has been placed on this planet to test my patience. So you two don't get along, I take it? The fact that that man got elected makes me wish we were back in the days when you had to pull a sword out of a stone or a lake or something to assume power. He'd never be able to figure it out. Too many steps. What with the pulling and then the not dropping it. And then the remembering to tell people about what happened. I'd like to buy some souvenirs, but I'm low on money. Any idea how I could make more? People are always dropping coins around the castle. Oh, and Carl has been offering to pay for people's help on that silly game of his. Do people around here trust Carl? Apparently enough do. He's still got the job. Do you believe there's a monster on his way here? What do you want me to say, Nancy? I can't answer anything like that at work. Please, I won't tell anyone what you say. <sighs> I do. It's stupid, I know. But there is something terrible out there. I can just feel it. We all can. It's taken everything I've got to stay here through this. What do the people who live here think about the monster? People have stopped talking about it. Those who can have skipped down. Those of us who really live here... Let's just say you're not going to be finding many open doors on a night like tonight. People are scared. This monster, does anyone know why it's supposed to be here? 
Legend says he comes from the forest whenever the girl in the necklace walks the castle halls, and he will stop at nothing to steal her away into the woods. Well, then what happens? No one knows, but these girls, they are never seen again. None of them. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. What this says. Maybe the pictures will help me figure out how to crack this code. Nancy, what happened? You look very sad. It's my boyfriend. Well, you can always talk to me about it. Us girls have to stick together. Thanks. I need some boyfriend advice. You came to the right place. I think I need to apologize, but at the same time, he needs to let me live my life. Of course, I want him to be a big part of it, but I don't know how to explain that. Well, luckily, this one's easy. For me, at least, as the advice giver. Tell him exactly what you just told me. That's it? That's it. Talk it through. Relationships are like plants. They grow stronger if you talk to them. Eh, that one works better in German, I think. Thanks. I'll give it a shot. I know it will work. Oh, when I was your age, I had the most wonderful boyfriend. The whole world was always just so perfect when we were together. There's nothing like love to bring order to a scattered world. What's with a glass display? Ah, oh, you noticed. Glass blowing tradition is very strong in the areas around Bavaria. We do quite a bit of glass blowing here ourselves. Normally we have demos, but it's been so hectic here the last few days, we'd have to stop them for the moment. You make glass here in the castle? Oh, yes. I wish you could see it. Glass is everyday magic. Out of all this power and fire comes something delicate and strange. It's sad how easy it is to forget just how odd and beautiful a simple piece of glass can be. I guess so. It's one of the old things. Renata is always saying the old things are the best. Do you think she's right? Not really. I'm with you. Glass is nice, don't get me wrong, but I like it even better when it's part of a TV or a light bulb. Can I see the glass shop? 
Oh, sorry. It's locked until everything settles down. Only Carl and I have keys, but we're both too busy to supervise anyone down there at the moment. Sorry, Nancy. See you later. Goodbye. Hi, so are you the one who tried to keep me out of the castle? Probably. I've been known to do things like that. I'm Lucas. I'm Nancy Drew. Hello, Nancy Drew. Do you want to play Monster? Okay, what's that? We'll play two rounds and the wind goes to the farmer with the most live cows remaining at the end. This time, I'll be the farmer and you will be the monster. As a farmer, I'll place all of my cows on the board. Then you get to choose three cows to become secret monsters. When you're ready, start the round. Choose a cow to kill in any pasture connected to one of your monsters. Once a cow is dead, You'll need to move any scared cows or monsters in adjoining pastures to a new location. Then I'll guess which of my cows is your hidden monster. Once I'm done, it's back to you to make another kill. Be careful, because if no live cows are connected to a live monster, you'll have to skip your turn and I'll get to guess again. When I guess correctly, one of your monsters will be killed and I can either choose to guess again or pass. We'll continue taking turns until either all three monsters or all the cows are dead. Then the round is over and we switch roles. You'll be the farmer and I'll be the monster. The second round is over when either all three monsters or all the cows are dead, making the farmer with the most survivors the winner. Let's play!
Nice game. Here you go. Should I pick a set? Yes. It's a card for that game that Carl is always playing. They're pretty cool, actually. I have a bunch. I'll give you some if you can beat me at Monster. What do you know about the monster that's been terrorizing the castle? I heard that it's a forest yeti. Hmm, what's that? It's the saddest and most terrible of the monsters. It lives alone in a big cave usually, and it gets so hungry that he thinks he's going to die. But he doesn't want to eat because he has to eat people, and he doesn't like to kill people. So he tries to eat vegetables, but they make him sick. But one day, he can't wait anymore, and he runs into the town, and he grabs up a whole bunch of people and eats them all, and he goes back to his cave. And he's so sad about all of the people he's killed that you can hear him crying and howling for miles. Lucas! Sounds kind of like that. What can you tell me about Anya? She's the best. She's the most fun person in this castle by a mile. Why is that? She's taught me where all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games. And she's good to talk to if you have a problem. I wish she wasn't always so busy. What's she busy doing? I don't know. Probably something with Carl. Why do you say that? They're always fighting. What do you know about Renata? She's not so great. My dad says she's lucky that they let her come here. She has a reputation. What kind of reputation? I don't know. She steals or something. No one here trusts her, and she's always trying to boss me around, stopping me from doing anything fun. How so? Does she stop you from bugging Carl? She's just in the way. I don't like her. Okay. Why are you always pranking Carl? I tried with everyone else, but they're not good at noticing. Carl is, though. He notices everything and gets all crazy and red when you mess with him. Have you seen all of the cool stuff he has in his office? When I get to use it, I'm going to build a small version of the castle with all the secret passages. Secret passages? I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the secret passages? Where do they go? I can't tell you. They're secrets. Plus, there are a few places here that I'm the only one who knows where they go. Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh, yeah. Want to hear a secret? If you give Renata food, she falls asleep in like a second. It's really weird. Have you seen the monster? I don't know. How can you not know? I saw something. I don't know what it was. Where? Down in the passageways. It was awful. What did you see? Probably a monster. I think you're the one behind the monster sightings. My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. That's enough. I think you're the one causing the sightings. But I don't even know why you're here and, and why you're bugging me. Maybe you should just leave me alone. Nazis, Marcus, cell phone reception is notorious up there. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. Nancy, I think we need to talk. Ned, I'm so glad you called. Ned, you know the truth is I'd love to have you here with me instead of all the way at home. I feel the same way, and I know that. Just forget it sometimes. Oh, Ned, you don't need to change. I like you just the way you are. I get what you said some thought, but I think I'm spending too much time waiting for exciting things to happen to me like they do for you. After we got in the fight, I did a lot of thinking. Me too. And I came to a decision. I may not be an internationally known sleuth, but I'm happy to have one in my life. And maybe it's time for me to be a little more daring. I'm happy to hear that. I'd have you along on my adventures any time. That means a lot. Thanks, Nancy. It's true. Well, maybe one day we'll work together on a case. You might be right. Wait, really? I'd better start working on my slow thing. Sorry, the connection is bad. I'll call you back from the landline. I have to translate that.
Hi, Nancy. So, what can I expect from the new and improved Ned? Well, I'm not sure. I'm still in the planning stages. I think maybe I need an edgier presentation. Get a motorcycle, maybe. Stay out past 10 p.m.? Return library books at the wrong branch? Oh, no, no, that might not be the solution. Don't forget, I like you just the way you are. Then you'll like new Ned even more. Once I settle on just what that will involve, maybe I could get a hobby. Not a bad idea. It's really strange spending my time with you and Frank and Joe. You guys always have such great stories to tell, it makes me feel like I live a pretty boring life in comparison. You guys are always like, remember when we were chased by that abominable snowman that really turned out to be an international art thief and also a spy? My best anecdote from this last year is the time I accidentally said something horrible in Italian to the waiter at the pasta place. Yeah, what you said was pretty unforgivable. I had no idea. I'm just teasing. It was just a misunderstanding. And anyway, you have great stories about school and football. It's not the same. It'd be nice to stumble across a nice mystery now and again. It doesn't exactly work that way. Maybe, but maybe I've just not been looking hard enough. I'll let you know what I find. I could use your help with my case. Sure. What's going on? Okay. Long story short. Wait, let me guess. You're in Germany, so you're probably in a castle. And if you're in a castle, there's probably some sort of a problem. Exactly. If I had to guess, I'd say a monster and an eccentric German board game expert. You were keeping tabs on me, weren't you? Of course I was. I know you're capable of solving these cases on your own, but I still worry a little bit, especially when you're so far away. Frank kept me up to date on everything that's going on. I'm not surprised. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Hello? I called Ned. I heard. I'm glad the two of you could work things out. Me too. I didn't doubt that you would. Thanks for being such a good friend. No problem. It's good to see you two back together. Thanks. The people here seem to think that the same monster has been attacking the castle for years, maybe even centuries. Have you ever heard of anything like that before? Interesting. Well, nothing could live that long. Maybe it's a handy scapegoat. A scapegoat? Well, growing up, every time Joe broke something, he'd blame me. I'd do the same to him. Maybe whenever someone does something really awful, they take advantage of this monster story to throw suspicion off of themselves. The people here must be scared. I can't get them to answer their doors. Really? You've tried? Yeah, no one wants to talk. They must really be scared of this thing. How's Joe? He's great. He says hi. Oh, also, he wanted me to tell you something. Hang on, I had him write it down because it was too weird to remember. There we go. Dear Nancy Drew, he used your last name for some reason, I am glad you and Ned are back together. You go together like peanut butter and jelly. When you're apart, it's like peanut butter and sadness, or jelly and uncomfortable silences. Either way, you're looking at a sandwich that no one wants, and probably no one will buy it ever. Yep, that sounds like Joe. Tell him I say hi. Oh, you wish that was the end of the note. It goes on. A world where Ned and Nancy are not together as a couple is as disturbing as it is dangerous to the quantum makeup of our interstellar plane of reality. You know what? I'm just going to stop reading there. That's okay. I think I get the picture. It's really sweet that he cares so much. I've met everyone here. It's a pretty strange bunch. How so? Well, Carl, the leader here, is off in his own world working on elaborate board games. It's Anya who seems to be running things. What's she like? She's certainly no pushover. She's also a little difficult to read. Who else is there? There's Renata. She's a traveling storyteller. Interesting. What's she like? I'm not sure. She can be a little cryptic. There's something she's hiding. Knowing you, you'll get to the bottom of it in no time. Then there's Lucas, security guard's son. Loves causing trouble. Seems obsessed with pulling pranks. Yep, that's pretty common. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a prank phase. So did Joe. <laughs> what made you stop? Got too busy. 
I think I still have a notebook full of ideas somewhere, although most of the ideas involve variations on the bucket of water over a door theme. Gotta love the classics. Who do you think is behind the monster? I don't know. It might not even be any of them. I need to find my way into the glass studio. Have you asked for a key? Someone must have one. Thanks. See you later. Catch you later. To find the egg, dig near the vegetable vampire sphere. Marcus here. Hi, it's Nancy. So, what's everything look like at the castle? Have you got everything under control? So far. Great. I'm on the way down. I'm about four hours away, but I'll try to be here if you need me. Thanks again for helping me out. It'd be great to have the whole thing tied up by the time I get in. I'll do my best. That's what I'm expecting. I'm bringing some foreign investors to the castle tomorrow. Big money, big time investors. I, I mean like stupid rich. Like, happy birthday, I got that town in France you wanted, Rich. I want everything tied up with a neat bow. Signed, sealed, delivered, stamps, the whole hundred yards. You're like my personal stylist here. You gotta make me look good. Stylist? I'm here to get rid of the monster, right? Nancy, business is built on metaphors. Fast talking is self-aggrandizing anecdotes. Like the time the Prime Minister told me that my yacht was fantastic. Right. I knew you'd be a fast learner. That's my favorite type of learner. Favorite of a car, too. You prove yourself to me. In this case, I see big things in your future. Look at me. I started out small like you. Now I've got four houses. Three in Berlin and one somewhere. Told my realtor to surprise me. Really should track it down someday. Also, I own a castle, but you know that. What can you tell me about Anya? Anya's Anya. Always has been. I was surprised to find out she was working at the castle, but that's synchronicity for you. Why were you surprised she was working here? We used to date. You and Anya? Really? Yeah, it was years ago. She didn't mention that. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised. The breakup didn't exactly go well. Well, no, no breakup goes well, right? That'd be weird. Anya was pretty upset and she ended up acting a little strange. Strange how? It's not really... It, it wouldn't be very gentlemanlike to get into what went on. Let's just say she is the reason that I make sure my shoes are tied before I break up. Wait... What happened? Oh, I'm just being dramatic. It was rough. We got through it. When I find out she was working at the castle, it was weird at first, but stranger things have happened. Look, Anya and I have had our problems. But in business, skill comes first. She's very good at her job, and customers love her. That's good enough for me. What do you think of Carl? Uh, he's not my ideal manager, but he does an adequate job when he's not working on that game of his, that is. What do you know about Renata? Nothing. Is that a person? Yes, she's a traveling storyteller. Oh, okay. I'll add that to the list of things that you seem to think that I need to know. Have you tried Carl's game? No, 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 no. I do not play games. But if I did, I would not play them with Carl. You're the one who broke up with Anya? Yes, I'd rather not get into the specifics, but I did end the relationship. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? No, other than that it was a terrible timing, which is rude, by the way. I don't deal with these sort of things. I, I hire people to do it for me. I'm big picture, Nancy, like, like a dinosaur's yearbook. I don't do small print. Why do you insist that everyone dress up? The castle isn't a hotel, Nancy. I, I'm not renting out a room. I'm providing an experience. I want our guests to create memories that they'll never forget during their visit here. Like seeing a monster? Are you implying that... I'm behind the monster sightings? Well, it's not out of the realm of possibility. It is so far out of the realm of possibility that it has crossed the sea of you are wrong and landed in the realm of ludicrous accusations. But I do admire your thoroughness. Good hustle. See you later. Goodbye. It's the monster! He struck again quickly! Follow me to the courtyard! What happened here? It has gotten past the gates. Uh, this has never happened before. Nancy, this is different now. You better leave. No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. 
That is not a smart move. I'm going to tell Marcus that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility. I'd better find a way to put out that fire, and fast. The monster did some major damage out here. There's something strange stuck in that door. What a peculiar looking bird. If I can find out where it's from, that could help me track the monster. These are pretty dull, but they might come in handy. Nancy, call me back on the landline. Better find something else to wear. I really wish I had my suitcase. Marcus here. Do you believe that the monster could be real? If it is, I know a guy who will pay through the nose for movie rights. That didn't exactly answer my question. Didn't it? I'll let you go. Bye. Call me when it's all finished. What are you wearing? You look like you're in a cartoon. It's for the festival. It's so puffy. Are you sure you're even in there? Thank you very much, Lucas. You're welcome. Why would you leave a bucket of water over my door? I'm only allowed to watch two hours of television a week. I've got a lot of time on my hands. What do you think of Marcus? Who? He's the man who owns the castle. Oh, okay. I don't know him. I think I heard my dad talk about him a few times. I don't think he likes him all that much. What do you think of all the tourists who come here? They're so boring. Every group says the same thing, no matter when they come. They all make the same stupid jokes, and I always have to pretend to be amused. Have you always lived here? Yep, the whole time. My dad's the head of security here, so I know pretty much everything there is to know about everyone here. Most of it's boring. But not all of it. What do you mean? I can't tell you I'd get in trouble. But it's bad. My dad says all castles have bloody histories because they're built by greedy men. He says that a lot. What does he mean when he says that? I can't tell you. 
Also, I don't really know. Aren't you worried about getting in trouble with Carl? Oh, Carl can't catch me. That's just how it is. Carl couldn't catch a cold that was looking for him. He couldn't catch a ball if you glued it to his hand. He couldn't catch an acorn if he was the ground. I can continue if you'd like. Okay, go ahead. He couldn't catch a, a thing if he was a different thing. I really didn't expect you to say yes. See you later. See ya! Hi, Nancy. Can you tell me a little about Lucas? Has he been bothering you? Be honest now. A little. Very sorry about that. He's my nephew. His father's the head of security here, so Lucas has pretty much got the run of the place. Although, that goes to his head now and again. Don't let him pester you too much now, and let me know if he's bothering you. Will do. He's got too much energy for sure, and he's a little too smart for his own good, but a good kid still. Did you leave this costume out for me? No. Someone must have left it out for you for the festival. It looks great on you. Huh. What? Oh, that dress. It just looks really familiar. I wonder where I've seen it before. Has Lucas always been such a prankster? Ugh! Unfortunately, yes. I swear he was trying to trick us before he said his first word. Even as a baby, he had this glint in his eye like he was up to something. It was less cute than you'd imagine, actually. Why does he seem to target Carl? I know. You are thinking I condone it. I don't. Lucas's father is always so busy running security. Honestly, I think that Lucas is a little lonely these days. He doesn't have a lot of friends at school, from what I can tell. He must like the attention. That being said, I think most of these so-called pranks are Carl's doing. What do you mean? The way he blunders through life. It's not surprising that he always thinks he's the victim of some practical joke. He's the victim of a joke, all right, but it's more cosmic than practical. What do you know about the castle's owner? Marcus, right? He seems like a nice enough guy. He mainly deals with Carl. He's a little culturally tone deaf, but it could be worse. How so? Oh, the Bavarianization of the castle. This is not what Germany is really like. It's a theme park version of history. But that's what he wants, so that's what he gets. It's not the end of the world. I just have to wear a dirndl more than anyone should have to wear a dirndl. Honestly, though, it's not that uncomfortable. And you know, I think the old clothes look nice. Would you run things differently if you were in charge? Yeah, but that's always the story. My dad used to say, Meps always sigh when a new king takes the throne. Are you worried about the monster attacking the castle? I don't know. Lately it feels like a rubber band is being stretched back somewhere, and at any moment it's going to snap and smash everything to smithereens! Maybe that's the monster! Maybe that's something else. Don't you feel a little bit silly worrying about a monster? Yes, but I don't know. The history here was those poor girls who've gone missing. The first thing I learned when I started here is that this castle has a dark past. It's just as silly to assume things are going to be okay. Did you and Marcus date? Yes, but that was a long time ago. Were you too serious? Fever? Or at least we thought we were. <laughs> you know how it is. But that's all in the past now. We chat every now and again for work, but that's about it. So Marcus is okay with you working here? He wasn't at first, but he asked around and found out I do a good job. We both decided to be mature about it. I'll let you go. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen.
Sweet. Hi, Nancy. Have you seen a burr like this before? Let me see. Hmm. Yes, I've seen something like that out in the woods. Anya mentioned a glass shop. Can you help me find a way in? She did, did she? Fine. You want to look in there? Go ahead, but stay away from the furnace. Why is that? It's a glass furnace. It's deadly. We've had accidents. It is not for fooling around. Be very careful. You could die down there. Thanks. What do you think of Marcus? He does not know what he's doing. He thinks we should all listen to him because he has a briefcase. Any fool can get one of those things and anyway they are silly. What is this, 1986? Not anymore, it isn't. What do you think of Renata? Did you know that Anya wants her to go? I don't understand why. She's such a great storyteller. This isn't the first time she's come here, you know. Although it was before my time, she knows a lot about this place. Anya told me she likes Renata. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Maybe she's trying to impress you by pretending to be far friendlier than she actually is. I'd like to help you with your character again. All right, now what do you think? Brown fur or black fur? Brown. Thanks. This thing, what is it? Why does everyone just call it the monster? Honestly, there is not much we know about it. What do you mean? Most of us have only seen the destruction it leaves behind. But it still seems like you would know enough about it to at least give it a name. After all this time? I heard it had a name long, long ago. The villagers, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they knew the monster. They would leave food for him deep in the woods. They were all terrified of him, of course, but so were the wolves. If they kept the monster fed, he would not bother them and they could raise their livestock in peace. But one night, the monster broke into the castle and kidnapped the Freiherr's only daughter. He was broken-hearted and decreed that the monster be killed on sight. He demanded that the townsfolk no longer leave food in the woods. It was forbidden to speak the monster's name in town. What happened? No one knows. No one even knows how true the story is. It was a long time ago. But there are many stories like it that happened in these walls. Thanks. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen. What are you wearing, Nancy? Change out of that this instant! 
What's the matter? It's just a costume for the celebration. It was left in my room. Who left that in your room? I don't know. It was just there with a note to put it on. I still don't see what the big deal is. Change out of it now! <gasps> what happened? Who would do something like this? I better hang on to this. Why are you still wearing that? My clothes, they're gone. Someone tore them to shreds. This is bad. Who did it? I don't know. I don't even know why anyone would want to do it. Someone thinks it's important that you look the part, it seems. Do you think the stories are real? I know. I, I think some part of the story is. I do not know. But you, you need to live as if it was true. You said I know. What do you know? I'm an old woman who speaks many languages. When I'm tired, sometimes the words do not behave as they should. You're right. You know the expression truth is stranger than fiction? Yes. It is true, especially here. Why are you really here? What do you mean? Anya told me you have a habit of showing up whenever there's talk of the monster. Is that true? Trust me, I don't keep track of gossip when I'm traveling. The weather, yes. The gossip, no. From what I hear, it doesn't seem like a coincidence. I'd watch what I said if I was you. Hi. What do you think of Anya? You ask me? She should be in charge of this castle. She's smart. She's strong. She actually understands the history of the castle. Why is that important? When I'm here, I try not to tell the stories of what has happened at this castle. Why not? Fate has a cruel habit of digging in its claws when tempted. But I will say this. In the event of disaster, I'd rather have Anya in charge than Karl. Do you and Karl get along? No. Why is that? I ask you. Do we seem like we should get along? He's an officious bureaucrat. He's desperate to control everything. You can't trust someone like that. Do you have a home? Or are you always on the road? Of course I do. Where is it? Here. Here's home. Wherever here may be. It seems like it would be lonely, always traveling. It is. You're always leaving home. But then again, you're always heading home. Do you have a family? I did, a long time ago. What happened? I've lived to be very old. Not everyone is as lucky as I am. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. We had beautiful days while they lasted. Have you ever seen anything as strange as this monster on your travels? No, but I've heard stories. Every place with a history and a dark corner has its own monster to worry about. Why do you think that is? Two possible answers. The world is either full of bored people or extraordinarily shy monsters. Why don't you tell stories about the castle when you're here? This land, this castle, has known more than its fair share of misery. There is a saying from where I'm from. When death goes to take a ride, he follows the road that serves him best. If that's what you believe, why are you here? My affairs are mine alone. And anyway, a good storyteller knows to leave the big reveal for the end. What if I don't want a story? What if I just want to know why you're here? You're very persistent. I was right to like you. Still, my life's work is words. I know them well. When to speak. More importantly, when to stay silent. Would you like some food? Oh, that! Ah, uh, all right. I need to get to that box. Without waking Renata up. Thank <laughs> you.
I better hang on to this. I need to figure out the color code to open this. What's Renata up to? It seems like she's tracking the monster. There's a dungeon in this castle. I'd better find it. This is the lowest room in the castle. I should be able to find the dungeon through here somehow. Aha! That's why it's not working. Now it should work. I hate snakes. The old snake prank. I bet Lucas is behind this. This could come in handy. This looks like it's about the legend, and there are letters in the corner. Looks like something could fit in here. Hello, Nancy. Would you like some food? That looks delicious! Hi.
Would you like some food? Oh, that. Ah, uh, all right. That's the same kind of burr that I found in the storefront. Ow! I'd better find a way to clear a path first. There's a camp back here. It looks like this was dropped accidentally. I wonder what it's for. This will definitely come in handy. Wait, what's that? I bet all of the edges that are touching need to match up. I better take that stone tile with me. I don't want anyone following me through.
This looks like it's about the monster legend. This looks like the other code, but the pictures are different. A map of the passages. This should come in handy. This looks just like the boulder I saw in that old picture. Let's see what that girl was hiding. Nothing here. Aha! A necklace. It's so old. This must be what the girl was hiding. I wonder why. I'd better keep this.
It looks like there is something in here. I wonder how to get it out. This should help me with that nugget. too hot. Let's see if that was long enough. Wow, this is the most metal Easter egg of all time. I better take this with me.
The view is good from the top of the food pyramid. Nancy? Would you like some food? That looks delicious! Hello, Nancy. I found a strange necklace out in the forest. It's like the necklaces in the gift shop, but much older, I think. Yes. Much, much, much older. You must get rid of this. Why? Because it's dangerous. That's why. Where are you going after this castle? I don't know yet. Wherever I'm needed next. Do you think you're needed here? I must be if I'm here. What do you mean by that? You must learn to relax. Don't pull all of the mystery out of your life. It's no fun that way. Do you do a lot of traveling? Yes. What's your favorite thing about traveling? These days, less and less. Since I've been a little girl, the world has decided to spend each day forgetting what makes it special. What does that mean? A long time ago, when you would travel from town to town, each place would be different. You'd never know what you were going to find over the next hill. But now, it's all the same. Now you just wonder, will the fast food place be on the left side or the right side of the street? I feel bad for your generation. There's less to explore. I still think there's a lot to see. There is, but there is also less. What you think of as wild now is nothing. Too many people want to tame this world, and too many people think that they have. What do you mean? The world is a dangerous place. It will always be. Your grandparents and parents spent their lives rounding the sharp corners off of the world to make it safer. But all that they've done is make the world uniform and boring. It is still just as cruel and deadly. I agree. Why do you have such a bad reputation? That's not up to me to decide or care about. Why is that? I have more interesting things to think about than my reputation. And so do you. Are storytellers still in demand? No. Today people want flashy computer games and big budget movies. They want instant gratification. The old stories they traveled from one storyteller to another for millennia. Now they are dying off. Ah, that must be sad for you. No. I know the stories. You do not. It is sad for you. How much longer do you plan on being a storyteller? As long as I've got teeth, false or otherwise. See you later. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, hello, Fräulein. Tell me about the accident. What are you talking about? I think you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> This castle, it is very old. It is not built for so many visitors. When I started, I thought it would be nice to have tours, take people around. Right. I took a group down into the dungeon. I thought it would be fun to show them the cells. I did not know what would happen. I really did not. What happened? I closed the door and the whole room collapsed. Ugh. Was everyone okay? No one died, but a few came very close. I stood on the other side of the door and there was nothing I could do. Is that why you don't want tourists here? I am a magnet for bad luck. It is best that I be left alone. Why do you say you're a magnet for bad luck? You will think it's silly. No, I promise I won't. When I was a boy, I took a train to Berlin with my father. He fell asleep, so I wandered the train in the pack. I found a boy my age to play with. Strangely, he looked just like me. Like a doppelganger? Exactly like a doppelganger. The boy was very strange. The whole time we played together, he did not say a single word. Very unnerving. Eventually, my father found us. He had this expression I'd never seen before. At first, I thought he was angry I'd wandered off. 
But no, he was scared. He grabbed my arm and yanked me back to our car. I remember looking at the boy, and he had the oddest smile. I don't understand. You must never meet your doppelganger. And if you see yours one day, run! To allow them even a moment in your life is to be cursed, like me. You don't really think you're cursed, do you? After that day, everyone I loved, everyone I cared about, got hurt or fell ill. So I moved here. Why? Some people hide in castles to stay safe behind the walls. I use these walls to keep the world safe from me. But now, you see, even that isn't working. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. It's not. Now, if you'll please leave me alone. What's the story with the De Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival? Oh, it's simply the best night of the year. Well, normally it is. This year, I don't know. What does the festival celebrate? Every year, the whole castle gets together to celebrate another year without a monster sighting. I don't understand. Why are you having a celebration this year? There are strange things going on, but we're not sure that it's the monster. Also, we, we already paid for the custom-made cake. It seems like maybe you should cancel this year's celebration. Truth is, it's best to give everybody something positive to focus on. These are frightening times. I keep finding references to these missing girls. Those I do not like to talk about. You're supposed to help me out here. I need to know what they mean. Those girls, they're the monster's past victims. What do you mean? This monster, this is not the first time he's been to this castle looking for a victim. I've gathered that. Why are the victims always young women? No one knows. Some say that the monster takes a bride and that the two live together deep in the forest. Is that what you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on now. What do you think happens? I do not want to know. Those girls never come back. That alone is enough to keep me up at night. And Nancy, if the monster is back, you do well to distance yourself from what you see in those paintings. What do you mean? We can only guess what will happen next by what's happened before. And if anyone here looks like one of the girls in the paintings, it be you. I'd like to give you more help with your character. Now the character needs a special item. Should it be a magic golden ring or a never-ending pocket full of gold coins? My character should have gold coins. Thanks. Bye. See you later, Nancy.
Sweet. Nancy, come down here. I need your help. Can you go distract Carl? I've got a really great prank idea, but I need him distracted. Can you do it? Sure. You are my favorite new person in the world, Nancy. Come back and let me know when he's distracted. I hear you have a reputation as a prankster. If you want to call it that, I guess that you could. But really, they're not just pranks. They're something better. Like what exactly? I don't know, but pranks are stupid. I've got better things planned than just stupid pranks. What do you have planned? You'll see. Something good. The people around here will be talking about it for years. Do you like living here at the castle? Yeah. It seems like a weird place to grow up. I don't know. It's not boring like some places. Did you know that hundreds of years ago, they used to have a gallows here? And you could see it right from my window? When I visit my uncle's place, he just has a grocery store outside of his window. Do your school friends like to visit the castle? No. Really? It seems like a place where all the kids would want to hang out. Yeah, well, they just don't, okay? I don't exactly have a lot of friends. There's nothing wrong with that. Good friends are hard to find. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Well, it's true. Maybe for other people. Hi. It sounds like these monster stories are all pretty old. Maybe that's why we're all so afraid of this thing, whatever it is. It's from that old world, just like this castle is. I don't think we have what it takes to make it in that world anymore. That might be true. I didn't always think so, but... Remember the last time you were somewhere when the power went out? There is that split second before you reach for the flashlight, where it feels like the bottom is dropping out of the room and you just want normal back. And for that second, there is this part of you is so scared that it will never be back. That's what it's like when I hear the monster. Can you tell me a little more about the festival? It's the best. It's a shame that you're here this year. Normally it's so much bigger. It's this big get-together with lots of dancing and great food and great stories. Oh, and there is this fantastic cake. It's just amazing. What is the festival a celebration of? Well, the story goes that when the monster took his first victim, the whole castle got together and built a huge bonfire and took an oath to find and destroy the monster. They met each year to renew their pledge and they'd burn a monster made of sticks in effigy. But as the years went by, it just became an excuse to get the whole castle together for a fun night. Well, that's the story most years. I found this necklace. What do you make of it? This... This is not like the necklaces I sell. This is... old. I'm not certain, but that might be the original necklace. What does that mean? I don't know, but I wouldn't be carrying that thing around. That's what all those girls were wearing when... Well, you know. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye.
I'm glad I wasn't standing over that. Nancy, what is going on? Can you help me distract Lucas for a minute by staying at your desk? He wants to set up a prank for you. I will sit here and be your unsuspecting prank victim. And finally, I will be able to catch him in the act. I'd really like to help with your character. Now you should choose hero or monster. Hero. Thanks. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Are you back to play more Monster? Sure. Cool. Do you know what the stories about these missing girls are all about? I heard that all those girls, they were killed by the monster. 
Do you think that's true? I hope not. Okay, Carl is distracted. All right, I'm off. Wish me luck. The middle of this message is in some sort of code. I bet if I try moving the letters around in the columns, I can figure out what it says. I got it! I need to track down these locations and find all of the hidden notes. There must be a specific order to play these in. This must be one of the musical notes I need. That must be one of the hidden notes.
clothing must be one of the letters that Lucas's dad was talking about. There's a letter G on the doorbell. I bet it's another one of the notes I need. That must be another of the musical notes I need. this does. I should try that with my phone. All right, it looks like I'll be getting security alerts on my phone now. There's no power. Looks like I need a key. 
There must be directions for how to use this somewhere. There must be cameras throughout the castle. Is that Renata? What's she doing there? like it's missing two dials. Renata must have dropped this. I should figure out what it's for. Third clock from left, 1921. This must be how Renata opened the clocks. I need to try this out myself. Yes? What were you doing in the shop? I don't remember being in the shop. But I saw you. I'm sure you did. I'm an old woman. I can't be expected to remember everything. I think you're just hiding behind that to avoid answering my questions. Just wait. Should you live to be an old woman, you'll know what it's like. Would you like some food? Oh, that. Ah, uh, all right. Oh, hello, Nancy. Would you like some food? Oh, that looks so good. Thank you. Oh, hello, Nancy. Would you like some food? Oh, that. Ah, uh, all right. Yes? Would you like some food? Oh, that looks so good. Thank you. Monster sighted on castle grounds. This is not a drill. Monster sighted on castle grounds. This message will not repeat. There's someone in the courtyard. It's the monster! I better go see if I can track it. It hasn't noticed me. I should try to get closer without being seen.
It looks like that one lever is blocking the rest. I need to see if I can slide it free. was too close. Well, this certainly proves it was not my imagination. I wonder what Lucas is doing with these. got stuck between the castle gates. Did you have anything to do with that? No, but I did lock you out when you first got here. Remember that? Mm-hmm. It wasn't that long ago. Oh, yeah. Are you worried about the monster? Yeah. I, I think I saw it. I, I mean, I really did see it. But maybe not. Should I not believe in it? Do you know something about the monster? I don't really believe in monsters. Usually it's just someone pretending. You sound like my aunt, always telling me that monsters aren't real. Well, she's right. But I can tell even she doesn't believe what she's saying. Monsters aren't real. If monsters aren't real, then why do castles exist? And suits of armor? And swords? It can't all be pretend if the rest of this stuff is here. You do have a point there. I do? You're not supposed to keep saying that monsters are real. You're supposed to say that they're not. That's how it goes. I'm never getting to sleep tonight. What's up with all of the signs everywhere? Oh, yeah, those are weird, right? Who put them up? Carl. He's always so worried about everything. They used to be funnier, but then they made him change them. What is Carl so worried about? Who knows? He's pretty good at worrying. You seem to know a lot about what happens in the castle. Totally. Oh, do you want to hear a secret? Sure. Carl has a bunch of love letters in his desk. You've got to see them. They are really funny. I'd like to play a round of Monster. To Monster Stadium. Mm-hmm. 
Thanks, see you later. See ya! Everyone must have an area of the castle to secure when the alarm rings. This could come in handy. I have to translate that. I need a key. It says Anya. Could it be for the shop? isn't quite right. Why would Anya print these emails and keep them here? I bet I could use this on one of the clocks. What was Renata doing with the clocks?
must have been what Renata was hiding. I cracked the code. That must be the Freiherr's daughter from the legend. I need to find an undamaged version of this painting. Hi. Someone just trapped me in the gates out front. What? What do you mean? I saw the monster, and suddenly I was trapped between the castle gates. Who knows how to operate them? Everyone. There's really not much to them. But you saw the monster? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Should we warn everybody? No. I'm not even sure it was really a monster. Ah, Good thinking. We need to be sure. We need proof before warning everybody. Keep working at it, Nancy. I'm sure you can do it. Auf Wiedersehen. See you later. I wonder if this could be the undamaged version of the painting of the Freiherr's daughter. I should take a closer look at this postcard. I wonder if there's anything behind that sticker. It looks like there were letters in the corner of the original painting.
Let's see what Carl's up to. That's the fifth color-coded entry. I wonder what that means. It's locked. cast. I should give them a call. Have to translate that. Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for castles, reenactments, renaissance cuisine, and realistic sword fighting demonstrations. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy Drew. What solution can I provide for you today? I'm staying at a castle that you're staffing. Can I get a little background information about the employees here? Oh, I'm very sorry. I can't give that information out without proper clearance. Thank you for calling. Hello. I keep finding codes around the castle. I don't know what to tell you about that. Could be the kid, maybe? I love stuff like that when I was young. If he's cool, he's probably got a decoder around here somewhere. I keep finding references to girls who have disappeared. What do you know about that? Yeah, I, I've heard something like that. Uh, wait, I, are you getting all wrapped up in this nonsense? Not exactly. Just trying to figure out what's going on. Fair enough. Truth is, it's a castle. It's really old. On a long enough timeline, everything develops a scary history. At least that's what the castle salesman said. The monster got past the gates. Really? Really. So that gate salesman wasn't kidding. Well, well, that's a game changer. So if you could do me a favor and step up your efforts and get rid of the monster on the quick, that would be great. Okay, thanks. You are the greatest. I understand you're having financial problems. Nope. I'm very rich. I found an email from you that says otherwise. I'm afraid that I don't know what you're talking about. The email says that things are tough and that the castle's going to have to make changes soon or dramatic action will have to be taken. Not the case. So the castle is doing well financially? All due respect, but I am not going to discuss my financials with you, Nancy. So what exactly is your business? It's simple. I, I take money, shuffle it around, and then BAM! 
additional money. That's not very specific. You sound like my financial advisor. Are you planning on selling the castle? No. I found an email that says otherwise. Whatever you think you have found doesn't concern me. I wanted to look up some background information about the employees here. Can you give me clearance with Castle Cast? Sure thing. I'll do the right after we hang up. Bye. Get it done. Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for castles, reenactments, renaissance cuisine, and realistic sword fighting demonstrations. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'm following up about the castle. Oh, yes. I spoke with your boss. Ask away. What can you tell me about Anya Mittelmeier? Oh, Anya, she was just the greatest. We all loved her so much. Please tell her that Jordan says hello and that getting the mail will never be the same without her. Getting the mail? Yeah, she delivered the mail. She did a really good job, too. And oh, we all just loved her. So she wasn't a manager? A manager? No. Sorry. Are we talking about the same Anya? Anya Middlemeyer? Yes, that's the one. No, there must be a mistake. That's what it says on her resume. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but it's not true. I'm really sorry. Do you know anything about Der Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival? Well, isn't that quite the mouthful? No, but it sounds delightful. Can you tell me anything about Franz? Is he one of ours? Think so. He's head of security. Then he's one of the best. We don't take security lightly. Do you think she'd be the type to lie on her resume? Not the Anya I know. Thanks for your help. If you're a staffing place, wouldn't you notice Anya lied on her resume? What position is she in? Castellan. Sorry, that's management. She must have gotten the job internally, probably from whoever is in charge at the castle. Can you tell me a little bit about your publications? Sure. We have many to choose from. I'm curious about the email guide. We had some problems with email signatures getting a little long a few years back, and that's no laughing matter. So we made a little guide. Did it go to all employees? Sure did. I got two copies myself. It's one of my favorites. Do you know anything about Castle Finster? Sorry, I'm... Wait. Finster? Castle Finster? Yes. Is that where you're calling from now? Is that where Anya works? Yes and yes. Crazy. So are the stories about the monster true? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I can't believe that's where Anya ended up. Talk about lucky. Why is she lucky? Getting to go to exotic places and work in a castle? That's luck right there. Well, maybe luck isn't the right word. I've never gotten to travel, and believe you me, I would love to get on a jet and just end up halfway around the globe, but that's not how things go. Do any of the other places you staff have monster problems? Not that I know of. Except... Except what? We've got one place that keeps having these large humanoid holes put into the wall. But we think that's just a group of kids. Really? Do you have any evidence of that? No, but these kids these days. <laughs> Am I right? Can you tell me a little more about Anya? I can't tell you too much. It would be against policy. Please, it's important. All right. You just seem so darn nice I couldn't say no. Truth is, she was a sweetheart. Everyone liked her. Did she ever do anything strange or dishonest? Nope, she didn't. I'd have given her the full recommendation of this office. But it wouldn't have been enough. Why not? Castellin. That's a pretty great job. A lot of people would want it. 
Now, I don't approve of how she got that job, but she would not have gotten it any other way, I guess. Is there anywhere in particular you'd like to travel? Oh, yes. I'm a history buff, so there are lots of places I'd love to see. The pyramids, the Roman Forum, the Acropolis. Sounds like a lot of fun. It's more than fun. I think it's my duty to see the world. I mean, it's here. It seems like a waste just to stay here and never go celebrate Cinco de Mayo in Mexico or Canada Day in Canada. Maybe one day. Do you ever send emails on behalf of Marcus? Oh, my, no. That would be strictly against company policy. Is that in the pamphlet? If it isn't, it should be. What other pamphlets do you have? We have. So you want to host an office party? Don't. That one's popular. We also have, let's be reasonable about office supplies. I helped write that one. And, well, we have so many. Oh, and my new favorite is, so you decided to pretend to be sick and then posted pictures of yourself having fun online while everyone else is working. It's firm, but fair. Can you tell me about your wizard discount? Oh, I'm sorry. That's been discontinued. Thank you for asking. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Hi. What did you mean about using the castle's history to bring customers in? I don't know what you're talking about. It was in an email you wrote. I doubt it. Now, unless you have some big news about the monster, I suggest that you get back to work. Someone put out a traditional costume, but no one will say who. Wow. I do not care about that problem. Put it on. Have fun. Did you know that Anya lied on her resume? I didn't. That's embarrassing for her. But, look, in this world, you've got to make your own luck. Anya's got a lot of heart, a lot of moxie. That's more important than a good resume. Still, I, I wouldn't expect her to do something like that. What made you get into the castle business? It might seem like a strange thing to do, but trust me, when you can afford to buy a castle, owning a castle suddenly makes so much sense. Have you ever had something like this monster happen to you before? Not surprisingly, no. Do you spend much time at the castle? No, I, I thought I was going to live there. Why didn't you? Castles are sort of awful. They're, they're dank. They have dungeons. They're, they're creepy. So you try to bring in tourists? Doesn't make sense. Oh, I disagree. A good vacation ends with you looking at your house and promising it that you'll never leave it again. See you later. Call it and it's all finished. Hi there. I'm stuck in this weird dress. Well, I'm sure it looks great. That's sweet, but it's still a little weird. The compliment or the dress? The dress. I love the compliment. Well, I meant it. I wonder what it means. Although it might be good for you to fit in while working on the mystery. You're right. I found the castle's dungeon. Wait, a real dungeon? Yeah. Dungeons are crazy if you think about it. I'm so glad they are not that common over here. Agreed. You know, it just occurred to me that someone had to invent the first dungeon. Invent? Well, they didn't always exist, so one day someone had to say, you know, the living room is nice and the kitchen's great, very convenient, don't get me wrong, but you know what would really spruce up the place? Our own private jail. When you put it that way, it does sound really strange. No joke. I'd steer clear of that place if I were you, at least as much as you can. I found an article in the Castle Crier about Carl wanting to keep tourists away from the castle. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense, in my opinion. It seems like he'd want the castle to be packed. I know, right? That sounds a little suspicious to me. I'd try to snoop around, see what's really going on with him. I'm on it. Apparently, Anya and Marcus used to date. Anya and the castle's owner? Yeah, she seemed really reluctant to talk about it. It might be a sensitive subject for her. I think it might be. She seems a little upset still, but I think it's in the past for both of them. Well, if that's the case, I wouldn't worry about it. So, how's Joe? The same old Joe. It's hard to be in a bad mood around Joe. Have you noticed that? Yes, it's like he won't stand for it. I know. He'll just wear you down until you agree to have a good time. He and Frank are really good friends to have. I agree.
I asked Carl about the accident in the dungeon. And? And it was just that. He was giving a tour and part of the dungeon collapsed. Everyone was okay in the end, but it really seems to have upset him. Maybe that's why he's not so keen on having tourists. That's it exactly. He seems to think that he's cursed, and everything that happens only reinforces that idea. And if you believe you're cursed, you might as well be cursed. It's like the story of the monster. How so? The people here believe that there's a monster, so they only pay attention to evidence that... That backs up what they already believe, right? So they're an easy group to trick, if you wanted to. But who would want to? I don't know. I'm working on it. Any great ideas? Not yet, but I'll be on standby if you need me. I keep finding these references to the monster's past victims. What have you found out? Is there a pattern? I can't figure it out yet. The story seems to be that when the monster comes to the castle, he's always on the lookout for someone who reminds him of his previous victims. That's really creepy. How did a story like this get started anyway? I read in one of my classes that people love to find patterns in random things. I've heard of that. I think that may be going on here. A few accidents happened and everything snowballs. Pretty soon it looks like a pattern. And if there's a pattern, there must be... A monster. Right. It looks like someone is using the story to their own benefit, if you ask me. Carl has a bunch of unsent love letters in his office. Interesting. How do they seem? They seem like love letters. I mean, do they sound excited or manic or worried? I guess, if anything, they seem a little sad. It's almost like he's given up on things working out but can't bear to get rid of the letters. I wonder why that is. Maybe the relationship didn't work out because he's stuck at the castle. Could be. I can't figure out why the monster would target certain people. Is there something that the victims have in common? There must be something. I'll look. So how's the search for adventure coming? I've found the perfect thing. What's that? It's a bit of a surprise, but we'll need a team. Maybe Bess and George? Perfect. I can't tell you too much more, but we'll need the perfect team name. I'll work on it. Great. This is going to be so much fun. So, how's your search for a mystery? Not great. So far, I've solved the case of the missing keys, and that's about it. They were in my pocket. Well, I wouldn't be worried. There are mysteries everywhere. If you keep looking, you'll find one. Any more ideas about the story behind the monster? It's pretty theatrical, if you think about it. How so? Costumes, props, it's almost like someone is trying to put on some sort of creepy show. You know, you're right. Interesting. Unless there really is a monster, which is unlikely, right? Bye. See you soon. Hi, Nancy. I found a dungeon. That is really cool. I wish I was there. Anything interesting in there? Well, if creepy is interesting... I got stuck between the castle gates, and when I was in there, I got a good look at the monster. Really? What did this monster look like? That's the thing. It looked pretty real. I'm not saying that it was, but it was actually a little startling. Did you see anything? Any sort of clue? Well, a piece of fabric was left behind, but that's it. I found some strange emails from the castle's owner. He seems pretty worried about money. Not exactly what you'd expect from a person who owns a castle. Really? It seems like a castle would be the definition of a money pit. True, but if you own a castle, you're probably doing okay financially. I wouldn't be so sure. It looks like he's pretty desperate to bring people into the castle. Desperate enough to pull off a dramatic stunt? Maybe, but then why would he hire me to investigate? Good point. Renata seemed really upset when she saw me in this dress. Did she explain why? No. It's an older style, isn't it? Maybe it reminds her of something from her past. I changed into a costume, and when I got back to my room, my clothes were shredded. Shredded? Yeah. That is bad. Someone is definitely trying to send you a message. I know, but what's the message? It seems like this person wants you to stick around, and they want you to be in costume for the festival. And they're trying to scare me. Well, that's a tall order. I found a weird pair of stilts. Huh. Well, maybe you should look for a short person or someone with unreasonably high shelves. Good plan. I think I found what that girl was trying to hide. Yeah? What was it? A necklace. Supposedly all of the monster's victims wore this necklace. 
Thanks, see you later. Catch you later. Hello again, Nancy. I call Castlecast. The employment place? Why would you do that? I was curious about the monster sightings. I wanted to see if they knew anything more about it. What would they know? You shouldn't be bothering them anyway. They must be very busy. You mean you don't want me to find out that you lied on your resume? Too late for that. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You lied on your resume. I have proof. Why would you do that? Okay. I did, okay? What was I supposed to do? I wanted this job more than anything. You could have been honest. I was honest. I was honest every day. I worked hard at my job every day. No one noticed how hard I worked. No one cared. I'm sorry. I didn't think it would hurt anyone. I love this job. I love this castle. I knew that this was the place for me. I just got a little carried away. That still doesn't make it right. I know, Nancy. I know it doesn't, but... I knew that no one would ever give me a chance if they thought I was just some poor girl who never went to a fancy school. I don't know. You know, there are people who are born surrounded by opportunity, and they squander it. I think that is worse than what I did. I wanted this job more than anything. It was the only way I could build a secure future for myself. Please, I'm begging you, please don't tell. If I don't, you need to. I'll be checking. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I will. As soon as I can. I promise. Bye. Goodbye. I wonder what she wants in the forest. Monster breached castle security. Monster currently in castle. This is not a drill. This message will not repeat. It's the monster again. Those footprints have a really odd shape. They seem to be heading back to the hall. I should follow where those prints lead. It's you! What are you doing? Uh, nothing? Okay, you got me. But this is the first time I've done this, I swear! Yeah, I've heard that one before. This isn't my first- <gasps> What's that? What's what? Ah! Shh! What is-
is that? See, it wasn't. See, it wasn't me. Also, you have to admit, my costume looked pretty. Oh, dang, it just looked at us. Lucas, quiet. I need to see which way he's going. I'm out of here. Hello? I have big news. What? I just caught Lucas dressed up as a monster. I knew it. I knew it was him this whole time. And here I've been worried that some monster was coming back. Can you believe that? How silly had I been a monster. <laughs> as if such a thing could actually happen these days. I'm such a fool. Well, I guess it's time to have a party anyway, but instead of being about the monster showing up, it will be about sending that scoundrel to the strictest military school on the planet. By the time they're done with him, you know, I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. Is there anything worse than military school? Hmm, I should ask the internet. No, wait. There must be. Could I send him to the circus? Is that still done? Ooh, I could send him on a walkabout. Hmm, I doubt his father would like that. Wait, you need to let me finish. Yes, Lucas was dressed up as a monster, but after I caught him, I saw the actual monster. You mean you saw Lucas as the monster? No, wait, I'm confused. What did you... I saw the monster, or something. I don't know exactly what I saw, but it wasn't Lucas. Are you sure about that? Yes. Oh, that is disappointing. No, 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 no. I'm sure it was just your imagination. You've got the real culprit. I'll call Marcus and let him know that you've got everything under control. Nice job, Nancy. I'm positive I saw something. If I leave now, you'll still have the same problem on your hands. I'm not sure I believe it. I had my suspicions that it was Lucas. It's true. I'll prove it to you. You can try, but as far as I'm concerned, you've caught our monster. You should be proud. I've spent many years trying to catch that little monster in the act, and he's always just way too fast for me. So, how did it go with Lucas? I did not catch him in the act. I don't want to talk about it. It looks like the monster had a target in mind when he attacked the courtyard. Do you think he's going after someone in particular? No, I do not think that is the case. I wish it was, though. Why is that? Then we would know what to expect. Why would Anya be going out into the woods? What do you mean? I saw her go into the forest. It looked like she really didn't want anyone following her. She should not be doing that. She knows not to be doing that now. I'm sure she had a reason. It does not matter. I will have to talk with her. Who are all those letters to? What? Sorry, I just sort of saw them. No one. Why write so many if you're not going to send them? That is none of your business. Is my card ready? Here you are. Thanks. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. I just found Lucas dressed up as the monster. What? Really? Oh, that kid is in for it now. <laughs> How does costume look? See, I knew all this was nonsense. You know, I've got to give him credit. He had us all pretty worried. Oh, he is in so much trouble. I ask you, what is the appropriate punishment for something like this? Wait, when I caught Lucas, the two of us saw the monster. What do you mean? Are you sure? Positive. So this creature is wandering around now? 
And of course, Carl is doing nothing about it, as per usual. How many times did he tell me he was sending out patrols? I've got it all under control. There is nothing to worry about. Blah! So incompetent. See you later. Goodbye. Thank you for not getting me in trouble. For that, I'm gonna help you track down that monster. No, you don't need to do that. I'm on it. What's up? So, how did the prank go? Pretty good. Not my best. Your monster costume was actually pretty good. It was? Thanks, Nancy. I spent a forever on it. As a rule, I don't condone dressing up as a monster and scaring people, but... It looked good, nonetheless. All I did was think of what would scare me if I saw it when I was alone at night. And then I tried to make it. What made you dress up as the monster? I don't know. It just made a lot of sense and then I did it. Truth is, I'm sort of a monster expert. A monster expert? Yes. I have seen all of the monster movies and I know all of the monster rules. Silver bullets, stakes, water, sunlight. You need to fight a monster. I'm your guy. Any clue what I could use against the castle's real monster? Oh, I guess I didn't think about that. He's probably invincible. I think I'm probably fine since I'm small, and he's probably pretty hungry. Got any more advice on catching a monster? Yeah, but it's a secret. The best way to catch a monster is to think like a monster. Do you know how to do that? Sure. You do? You're supposed to say no. It's kind of creepy that you said yes. But that works. I guess you know what you need to do then. I'd like to play a round of monster. All right! Okay, here you go. Isn't it a bit late for you to be up? Shh, I've got a good thing going. Don't ruin it for me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Looks like Renata knew exactly where the monster was going to strike. I need to check those sights out.
This was the site on the map. I should wait and see if the monster appears. Another coded message. I need to figure out what it says. The lid's stuck. Need to find something that'll pry it off. That looks exactly like what the monster was wearing. This must be the scarf Renata mentioned. Hi. I found this scarf. Does it mean anything to you? I thought this was gone forever. Where did you find it? In the passages. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you, Nancy. That story you told me about the girls. That was you, wasn't it? You chased your sister into the woods, but couldn't save her. You're half right. How so? I was the little girl. It was my older sister who chased me into the woods. My sister died trying to protect me. I'm sorry, but you do know that it wasn't your fault. That is not what matters, I guess. Is that why you're here? Yes. I promised myself that it would never happen again. I came here every time there was talk of the monster. Back then, back then I was ready to fight. Now, look at me so. I know there is not much I can do. But still, I have to come. That's why you're always here when there are rumors of the monster returning. Do you really think it was a monster that, you know? I don't know. I don't know which is easier to live with. I know you would have done the same for her. It's not up to you to keep everyone safe. Maybe you're right. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to? Yes, it would. Nancy? Yes? Thank you for this. I don't know what help I can offer, Nancy, but whatever you need, I will help you. What's the real story with the monster? I do not know enough to say for sure, but I do know it is tragic. There are two choices. One, the monster's real. He's a living mystery, some terrible abomination hiding in the woods, something that doesn't belong in this rational world. It could just as easily be something else. Something worse. Like what? The worst monsters are self-made. There are people like you, and like me, but they have taken a terrible turn. They let everything awful, everything sad take up all of the breathing room in their hearts, until all they know is revenge. But if it's just one person, why the pattern? Why always the same girls? That, I don't know. Every generation has its troubles, Nancy. When the troubles can't be contained, the monster comes out. One thing I do know, it's monsters, human or otherwise, can't stand hope. 
They can't stand being near a good heart. They try to destroy anything honest and good. They can't bear to remember how they once were. Has anyone tried to fight the monster? What do you mean? Seems like some of these girls could have used some help. Aren't there usually knights in shining armor in old castle stories? Yes, there were as many knights in shining armor back then. In fact, there are many around today. Do you know what that really means, knight in shining armor? A hero who saves the day. No. A knight in shining armor never did nothing for nobody. He never fought. A knight in dented, scraped armor. Now that's what you want. You want a knight in shining armor? Go see Karl. Anyway, what's with this knight talk? You hardly seem like the damsel in distress type. True. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. How did you become a storyteller? Ah, it's a long story. What? Nothing? That was a joke! Always Americans, you have to tell them you are making a joke. Come now, we do it again. What? Ask again. Okay, how did you become a storyteller? Ah, it's a long story. I say this jokingly. <laughs> I get it, but I'm still curious. All right, a pity, love. That's enough. I can move on. It was bad times, between the wars. I was out with my father and my sister. We had been traveling for a long time, very long. My sister, she was very sick with a fever, and it was raining. She needed a warm fire very badly. My father and I knew this. Finally, we see a fire in the distance and a group of men. Like I said, it was bad times. Everyone was very scared and very used to fighting, sometimes killing, to get by. I could see my father was afraid. He said, follow me. If they do not laugh, you must run. I followed him. We got to the fire. The men, they grabbed their guns. I thought, this is the end. My father looked at them and he said, gentlemen, you smell bad. You're ugly and your mother's dress, you funny. What? I know, I know. Dead silence. Then, suddenly the biggest one with a scar like this. He starts to laugh. Then they all do. Next thing we are by the fire. My father, he tells stories all through the night. My sister, she's okay. In the morning, we leave as friends. And I knew, I just knew I wanted to be like him. Thanks, see you later. Goodbye. Find a young woman to cast as the victim. <gasps> this is about me, isn't it? Nancy, I think I can hear the monster outside. 
I'm sure it's just your imagination. No, something bad is going to happen now. I just know. I'm sure everything is fine. No, it isn't. Promise me you'll stay close, okay? I promise. Thanks, Nancy. Bye. See ya. Nancy, did you think of any team names? The Clue Crew. Perfect. I love it. I found out that Anya lied on her resume. That's pretty bad. Are you going to do anything about it? When I talked to her, she seemed pretty sorry about the whole thing. Well, that still doesn't make it right. I know, but I think Anya needs to take responsibility for fixing this herself. I agree. When I caught Lucas, I saw the real monster. Carl won't believe me, though. Why not? He wants proof. What kind of proof? I'm not sure. A picture of the monster, maybe? That sounds dangerous. Were you much of a prankster when you were a kid? Oh, of course. Pranking people was so much fun, although it wasn't as easy as you'd expect. Why not? Well, you've got this elaborate setup, and you want it to be this big show-stopping thing, and everything has to be just perfect or everything's a wash, so lots of times you've got everything all set up, but your victim just won't go in the right room or something like that. It's pretty frustrating. Ned, that's it. What's what? That's what this is like. The dress, the necklace, the stories I keep finding. These are all pieces of a big setup. And once everything is perfect... What? Then the monster strikes. And wait, what did you say about show-stopping? What did you mean by that? Well, you've got to have an audience, or it's not fun. Marcus, and the investors. What? I've got to get to the bottom of this before Marcus gets here. What? Why? Think about it. If you wanted an audience, who better than the owner and the investors he's trying to impress? Good point. How much time do you have? I'm not sure. Not long. I think that I've been cast as the next victim. What do you mean? The dress, the necklace, all of the weird warnings I've been getting? Nancy, you need to get out of there fast. I can't just walk away from a case. I'm not sure I even could if I wanted to. I wish I wasn't so far away. Do not put yourself in danger. You've got to play it safe. I will, I promise. I'll let you go. Bye. See you soon. Hi, Nancy. I discovered what the stilts were for. Yeah? Lucas was dressing up as the monster. So, case closed. You're on the next flight home? Not exactly. When I caught him, I saw the real monster. This place has too many monsters. Do you think something like a monster could really exist? Sure. It's not likely, but it's not impossible. You really think so? Well, it sounds crazy, but it's true. There are plenty of monsters in the world. We just give them names and pretend that they're reasonable. Like what? Like sharks! There is no way that sharks are not monsters. Have you seen those things? They have a scientific name now that we have learned all we can about them, but take a swim with one and tell me it's not a monster. No, thank you. Right. So whatever it is that's scaring people, it may turn out to actually be something else. But if everyone is this scared, it is a monster. I think I might be in danger. Why? What's happened? Someone is trying to draw attention to the castle by making the monster myth come true. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? I think I've been brought in to be the next victim. The necklace, the dress, the stories. It all adds up. Why would anyone want to do that? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm right yet. Nancy, 
If that's true, then this is very serious. I know. Thanks, see you later. See ya! Marcus here. I found Lucas dressed up as the monster. The kid? Yeah, but then I saw the real monster. So, the, the situation is still pretty much the same. There's still a monster on the loose? Well, maybe. Okay, um, good talk. Come on, what do you think you're even doing? I'm doing my best. Not you, the idiot with the... Yeah, you, buddy! Where, where did you learn how to drive? The, the, the 1800s! Are you driving right now? Yes, I'm driving. Uh, and this guy... Uh, yeah, still you, buddy! It's going so slow and swerving, I, I memorize... I am memorizing your license plate! Sorry, this, this guy... I, I know you see me! I know you know why I'm yelling! Should I let you go? Uh, if you want, I, I got one of these hand-free phones that doesn't bother me. This weather is, is not great. Bye! Bye! Ah, Nancy, do you mind if I ask you a question? This has been bothering me. Why are you here? What do you mean? Marcus explained why you were coming here, but it doesn't make sense why he'd send you to solve this problem. You're just a kid. It's not right that he should send you. I'm not a kid, and I'm good at getting to the bottom of tough mysteries. I've heard, but something about this seems wrong. Marcus or whoever recommended you be sent here, maybe they had not the best of intentions. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that I'm going to figure out what's really going on here. Is that what you think? I hope it is true. I have proof that Lucas wasn't the monster. Take a look at the picture I took with my phone. Do you believe me now? This is not good, not good at all. If that's the monster and he's real, then I'm afraid it's you he's coming after. If you can't solve this case soon, you need to leave here. Thanks, see you later. Goodbye! Come to my office quickly, something terrible has happened! Need something else? See you later. Auf Wiedersehen! Nancy! Something terrible has happened! It's Lucas! He's missing! Could it just be another one of Lucas's pranks? I wish it was! It's not his style. He wants to be there to see what's happening. Anyway, he... He's just not capable of something like this. You've got to make sure he's okay, Nancy. I thought you didn't like him. This is not about liking, Nancy. Everyone in this castle is family. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Oh, hello, Nancy. Did you hear that Lucas is missing? Yes. You need to know things got much more serious for you now. What do you mean? The monster. He's here now. He is not after Lucas. You do know that, right? I think so. Do not think so. Be ready. There is no shame in leaving now, Nancy. I couldn't do that. It may be your only hope. Bye. Bye. Looks like Lucas was dragged off. I'd better find him before something bad happens. It's Lucas! He's gone! I'm sure it's nothing. He's probably off trying to play some trick on Carl. 
No, I've searched everywhere. He would never just leave like that. He knows how dangerous it is to go outside the castle walls at night, especially now. You've got to help me find him, Nancy. Lucas? Is everything okay? The creature caught me and locked me up in here. I'll get you out. Hang tight. Looks like I need to slide the bar across to unlock the door. I'll have to avoid those pegs while it's moving. Nancy, I'm out of here. Hurry! Nancy? Nancy, are you okay? I'm fine, Lucas. I need you to go and get help. Get anybody, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. Hmm? Hmm? What's going on? Hello? Is anyone out there? I need more light. I can't see anything. These images must hide some sort of clue. That one's of the necklace. I wonder if the legend pages I've been finding would help. Did it! Oh, what's this? The legend pages have letters like this on them. I wonder if the order they were in before spells something. That must be the word I need to spell on the wall. It looks like I can start anywhere. Wow! It looks like the pieces slide to the next spot when they're put in.
to find it. The door's locked. That bag wasn't there before. These look like spare costume pieces. All of these supplies must belong to the castle's monster. This email has tomorrow's date. It's a forgery. Looks like whoever this monster is is trying to frame Marcus. Stop! I know it's you, Anya. Looks like I don't need this now, if you had any idea how hot it was in that thing. Well, enough with the niceties. Why are you doing this? This castle was never yours. It should have been. It would never have been Marcus's if it weren't for me. He can't have it without me. I don't understand. Neither did I. I pushed him every day to go out there to make a mark on the world. I made him. And one day he makes his first big deal and the very next day he leaves me for some stupid young blonde who really gets him. Then he was gone. This isn't exactly gonna bring him back. I don't want him back. I want him ruined. By scaring away his customers? Uh, no. What if he told me to orchestrate the creature's sightings as a publicity stunt? Did he? No. But maybe I've got some emails and letters that say otherwise. And what if this publicity stunt led to a deadly accident? He'd be done. Over. Worse off than the day we met. You won't get away with this. Yes, I will. Do you still not see who you are in all this? You're the girl in the dress, and I'm the monster! <laughs> Let me out! No! Nancy, it was, it was all a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Don't leave me here! That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm the girl in the dress, and you're the monster, remember? You don't want to make an enemy of me. One day, I will find you. Well, there's a waiting list. I hope you're patient. Goodbye, Anya. Auf Wiedersehen, Nancy. You do know what that means, don't you? It means until we meet again. Yes, yes, I know. 
Dear Hannah, the police soon arrived, and Anya traded one cell for another. She swore her revenge, which may be something I need to keep an eye out for. In 20 to 30 years, Marcus was shocked by Anya's lingering anger. Despite their past, he really felt he could trust her. Now that the castle's dark history has gotten a little too personal, he's decided to put Castle Finster up for sale. He thanked me for my help and promised me a special surprise in the future. When Carl discovered that Castle Finster's monster was at long last a hoax, he decided maybe he wasn't really cursed after all. Having his board game approved seemed to reinforce that idea, and he decided to use earnings from selling his game to leave his job at the castle. I have a feeling he may be planning a trip to Canada to meet a certain special someone. Renata went off on her travels the very next day. She seems to have no intention of ever returning to Castle Finster, and I think she's happy about that. She thanked me for all of the snacks and told me to always keep an eye out for her on the road. I hope to meet her again. Maybe I'll even hear the story of our time together in Castle Finster. Lucas and his family moved away from the castle. At first, he seemed sad to leave the castle behind, but after the package I just got, it looks like he's already back to his old self. He promises he won't be dressing up as a monster anytime soon. Knowing Lucas, that probably means he's got something better planned. We'll just have to wait and see. Now that almost everyone has moved on, the castle is no longer the nightmarish place it once was. The new owners don't fixate on the castle's deadly myths, but instead embrace the entirety of the castle's rich history, the bad and the good. Although Castle Finster has seen its share of tragedy, it has also enjoyed many years of peace and happiness. Now the castle's residents no longer hide behind locked doors in fear of a mythical monster. From what I hear, Der Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival has been cancelled and replaced with a Finster Festival, a celebration of all the wonderful and unique things that have happened within the walls of the castle. That sounds like more fun, and it's easier to say. Last I heard, my luggage was in Moldova. Hopefully it will find its way back to River Heights before too long. As for me, I'm finally coming home. I can't wait to get back. Love, Nancy. I'm returning home to River Heights to compete in the annual Clues Challenge with Bess, George, and Ned. But when the competition spirals out of control and River Heights' beloved Old Town Hall is burned to the ground, I find myself the prime suspect in a high-profile arson case. It's up to me to clear my name before I'm forever known as River Heights' public enemy number one. Join me on my next adventure, Alibi in Ashes.